So I'm going to introduce to you the next entrepreneur, Gavin Storr.
I took some product in, I put it on the shelf, and I thought, man, I really want this to sell good. So I called all my aunts and uncles. And a couple days later, the manager called and said, I've never had popcorn sell this good. This is, I need more. Bring me 10 more bags. So between classes the next day, I took him 10 more bags. A week and a half later, he called back and said, bring me 14 more. This is, this is crazy. So I took him 14 more, and we've developed a great relationship. And here before Christmas, I should be in the other three high bees here in Columbia as well. So going the extra mile, doing those little things, like Emily had said earlier, that really makes a difference. I could have just taken some bags of popcorn in and never done anything else, and it probably wouldn't have sold, and I wouldn't still be in that store. It's going the extra mile that makes a huge difference. Now, you also need to be very knowledgeable about social media in this day and age. I like to use Instagram stories and Facebook ads. After I get in the store, I hop online on Facebook and I make an ad, and I target 30 to 40 year old moms. You might think, why would they want popcorn? But they're the people most interested in where your food comes from, and they want to have a fun snack for their kids. So I'll pay 20 bucks and target this specific area, and that seems to help the popcorn sell as well. On Instagram, I get to talking with farm friends from across the country that I've never met before, but we talk about agriculture, just how our day is going, what we're doing on the farm, showcasing what we're learning and why we're using a specific fertilizer or a certain seed on the operation, and that seems to help us get followers as well. So if you're wanting to grow your social media, use stories and tag friends, because you'll get their followers and they'll get some of yours. Here's some of my social media. Uh, Instagram is my personal favorite, but if anyone's on TikTok, that's a fun new social media that I like to play around on. 15 seconds. I've got a video that got 500,000 views, and I seriously spent less than a minute making it. I posted it, and I've had 10 or 15 orders come through my website just because I spent a minute making a little video showcasing what's going on in my popcorn field on a specific day. YouTube's okay, but I haven't got it figured out, and with a busy class schedule, I haven't had time to get very edited yet. So if you guys would like to contact me, here's some of my information. I know I can only fit so much information in 10 to 12 minutes and your guys' time is valuable, but I would love if you would reach out uh, and we can bounce some ideas back and forth if I can help you in any way, anything I've learned or vice versa. So next we're going to hand it off to Drew. Thank you guys for your time.